Hi, welcome to a Sunday Studio short episode. This morning I've been studying some pure pigments versus mixed pigments impact when you color mix. And this is an example of magenta. So this first oil paint, a mix of pigment violet 23 and pigment red 122, quinacridone magenta. Second oil paint, PR 122 and PB 15, halo blue. Similar to option one, it does have a bluish, more purpley kind of a undertone to it. And option three is pure quinacridone magenta pigment, PR 122. Each of these oil paints with a bit of white, blueness of option one and two comes through in the magenta. They're definitely more purple violet leaning as compared to the more reddish hue that comes through when you desaturate the quinacridone magenta pure pigment. When I want to warm up these three options with something like a cadmium light pale hue, PY74, option one and two form a reddish orange which is more muted because of the undertones of blue in pigment one and two. Being closer to the complementary colors, they tend to form more muted red oranges. Pure pigment PR122 when mixed with cadmium light yellow, a really vibrant red and the more yellow I add to it forms a vibrant orange too. Next when I want to check how I can create natural darks by adding something like a complementary green. So I'm using here just as a reference permanent light green which is PY74, PB15 and PW6 with the three options. They more or less form similar looking darks uh, with obviously a bit of difference in the profile of either a red undertone or more greenish undertones in the case of uh, one and two. If you use something like a turquoise blue which is PW6, PB15 and PG7, you'll again see the formation of a purple which is rich and vibrant when mixed with a pure pigment quinacridone magenta. One and two because they inherently have mixed pigments in them will probably not give a very very bright purple. Hope you enjoyed this little session of a studio Sunday. Let me know in the comments if you're using single pigments or mixed pigments in your oil paints.